He's following me. <laughs> Good job, honey. This is lucky. Yeah, this is lucky. Yeah. Look at this sweet boy. Yeah, he just only gets a little bit of feed. Good job. Good job. Come on. Lucky. Lucky, come. Come on. Come on, I just want to check your water. I just want to make your water cool. Yeah, good job. We set this up for him because there's no shade really on the other parts of the property. And this area is a little smaller. This is, you know, maybe maybe a quarter of an acre. Uh, and there are four acres total for them to graze. Oh, look at that sweet boy. And just a little more. Just a little more. Good boy. Good boy. He's a little piggy. He's not supposed to get very much. What a good boy. What a good boy. Yeah, what a good boy. I think that's about all the food you need for today, honey. Good boy. Good boy. He is the cutest little thing. He's so tiny. Let's go over and show him how big you are compared to brother. So, Nakona, we've been tending to Nakona for the last three years that he's been part of this family. I hope y'all can hear me. We've been tending to Nakona for the last three years that he's been part of the family. Uh, and his brother Sport, who was 30 years old, Sport and various other furry siblings over the years have been our clients since 2014. Well, Sport crossed over on Thursday last week. Good boy. June 22nd. He had Cushing's disease and some other health problems. He had injured his leg. And Nakona, poor Nakona was just grief stricken. He was heartbroken. Which made me think of Cabo because Cabo was just beside himself with, with sorrow when he lost his sister Liberty. So we didn't waste any time either getting Cabo a companion. Uh, and so Sport crossed over on Thursday. Good boy, he's so good. He's so good. And Lucky joined the family on Sunday afternoon. So this is their fourth day together. Well, we're coming up on four days. He came uh, late Thursday after, I mean, late Sunday afternoon. You need some more? You think you need some more? I only have a tiny bit left, baby. Hang on. Hang on. Good job. And he's just so sweet. The property right next door here, they do donkey rescue. And so he was rescued from that property, which has been nice because he still sees some of his donkey friends that were there. What a good boy. Oh, he's so nice. Yeah, he's so nice. He's so nice. Oh, he's so good. Let's see if brother's finished so we can get a, some footage of y'all together. Did you finish? Good job. Good job, Nakona. Good job. Good job. That's the praise and correction spot right there. Good job. I'm going to get some video of you guys near each other, okay? Just so we can see how tiny you are. Yeah. Except we'll have a little forced perspective here. Oh, and you're going to follow me because you think I've got more food. That's all the food for this morning, baby. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Aren't they cute? Look at you. Look at you, Lucky. Look at you, Lucky. Okay. 
So that's our newest client. The boys are getting along, I mean, from the very beginning. So Nakona's still pretty sad. Uh, that may be working to everyone's advantage because it's meant he's not asserting himself or being ornery or rude. So he lets the donkey be nearby. They're always pretty close together. When I got here this morning, they were, you know, maybe 20 yards apart. Just because they were resting in different spots. You got sneezes? Good boy. Good boy, Nakona. He's a good boy. But he's still so sad, y'all. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want to see a whale eye, honey. Be nice. Let's turn that over. Good job. Good job. Beautiful boy. Beautiful boy. Good boys. That's all boys. That's all boys. Okay. So, I'm glad you guys are getting along. That's all for, that's all for now, baby. Be nice. Good boy, Nakona. Good sniffing. Good sniffing. Alright. Be safe, be happy, be well, be blessed. Enjoy your day. And remember that I love and appreciate you all. See you in the next video.